Hey everyone, welcome to Miami Life and Fitness. So today we're going to be talking about sex and steroids or someone's sex drive and how steroids actually affect the sex drive. Hi everyone, so getting right into the video. Before we start, I want to let you know if you need to get your labs done, if you need to get your blood work checked, especially your hormonal panel, don't forget to go to privatemdlabs.com. Use my code MIAMI for a 15% off. They have a lot of labs, a lot, super friendly user website, and choose whatever panels you want, need, especially since doctors really don't know how to balance and they're definitely not going to tell you to get your lab work done. So go to privatemdlabs.com, get your hormonal panel checked, and if you need help with a cycle, after you get your labs done, contact me or book your consultation at MiamiLifeAndFitness.com. So, in this video, I'm gonna speak in general and then I'm also gonna speak off of what happened to me during my primo cycle. So, here's the thing. We need testosterone to build muscle and we also need estrogen to build muscle, but we can't have testosterone too low and you can't have estrogen too low or too high either because there are side effects that happen and it could be a dangerous thing, especially when estrogen is too high. Sex drive is affected if estrogen is too low. It's also affected when the estrogen is too high. So it needs to be at a healthy range, at a good range in order to build muscle, as well as having a healthy range. Men, this means over at 850 for you. So if you're sitting at 500 and the doctor tells you that's normal, you're not, you're dead. So. Healthy level of estrogen and healthy level of testosterone. So here's the deal. If someone is overweight and someone is fat and someone wants to get on a cycle to lose weight, gain muscle, shred body fat, there is going to be certain particular anabolics that I will put him on or cycle him on that are going to help him build muscle and at the same time shred the body fat. One of the compounds that I use for that is Anovar or Primo because it does mimic an anti-estrogen even though it's not an actual AI. For someone that is a hard gainer, someone, and especially reference to me with my uh, Primo cycle that I did for eight weeks that I just finished almost three weeks ago, here's the, de here's the deal. When somebody already has low estrogen, which I always ride out at the lower end of the spectrum of estrogen, I've never really had high estrogen, which is why I've always been lean all my life. So the thing is, when you take certain supplements, ladies, if you are already lean and you want to take Anovar or Primo, we have to monitor our estrogen levels because if we go below what is a normal level, we go under a 30 or a 20, you will eventually crash your estrogen and you will lose your sex drive. Completely gone. Finito. Done. You won't feel nothing. Okay. So this is why it's important to know what you're doing. It's important to always measure and get your labs done so that you know what's happening. So if you start to feel fatigue and you start to feel blah and you can't sleep, you have no sex drive, then you know that your estrogen is crashing. So what happened to me in reference to my primo cycle, yes, I did shrink a little bit. I got more compact. I got tight. My body, uh, per, my body fat percentage went down maybe about a one to 2%. I don't know because I'm already super low. But the thing is that it did make my sex drive crash because my estrogen went below level. Um, and at that point, you're just not feeling anything. This is not good. This is not a happy place. This is definitely not where a female or a male wants to be. So I started feeling this maybe about week three, week four. Thank God I only did it for eight. But let me just say this. Let me just, that's why it's so important to know your body and know the supplements. And if you don't, that's why you call me and schedule a consultation with me at miamilifeandfitness at gmail.com so that we can switch you on a supplement and get your sex drive back again, as well as checking your labs and going over your labs. But once I stopped that and I got right back on the MPP, Literally within a week and a half to two weeks, I'm back up to normal Why? because we don't want to be in life if you're in a relationship and you don't have a sex drive because that's not fun for either party. So know your body, know the supplements that you're taking. And yes, we all want to look good and we want to look lean and we want to look ripped, but not to the expense that you're crashing your hormones. If you're competing, we already know that's going to happen. That's another story, another ball game. We're talking about just the person that wants to be fit and happy and lean. Know your body, know the supplements that you're taking. And if you're not feeling good and you're feeling fatigue and you're losing sleep and it's affecting your sex drive, then there's an issue with 
an imbalance in the hormones. And at that time, you only have two things, either go to a TRT clinic or call me and schedule a consultation with me so we can go over and switch you on a supplement and get you right. Miami Life and Fitness, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, hit the like button, share with all your friends, leave a comment, let's interact. And if you need to book a consultation, go directly to my website or email me directly and we can, be, uh, we can set up a time to do so. But if you need help with fitness, nutrition, or lab work and balancing your hormones, contact me and I will get you right. Be in the best shape of your life for 2024. Again, like, share, subscribe.